how to create Minecraft plugins within five minutes using AI, just like this one. It's literally shooting flying kitties. Now, ChatGPT, most of you guys have already heard about it, came out last year, literally took the marketplace by storm. I wanted to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create Minecraft plugins, because I was interested, if people use ChatGPT for so many different purposes, can it just help us create Minecraft plugins? And can it actually produce high quality code? Because I know one thing for sure, a lot of you guys want to design high quality servers, you have so many ideas in your head, but it just takes so much time and the, the entire process, it's very, <laughs> frustrating and infuri infuriating because of the complexity of it. So can we just remove all of that and make something happen very, very quickly? The answer is, yeah, why not? To an extent, to an extent. So I'm going to show you how to actually do it. I've prepared a little PowerPoint right here, not to kill you, but actually to show you how to do it very quickly. So I'm going to show you how to make plugins from scratch. Even if you've never coded anything before, if you, even if you are a complete beginner, you have a slow computer, internet, brain, etc. people come up with all sort of crazy excuses why they can't do it. I'm going to show you how you can do it. So I'm going to show you how the AI lets you set up entire servers and features previously taken months now can be done in days and we're going to be downloading two applications for the program in which micro plugins are built most people will be already familiar with it if not just take a seat have a coffee or tea and enjoy the show so let me just crack right into it and uh well step number one step number one is download java okay very boring step but we need to have it because i want to show you how you can simply drag and drop the plugin on a local testing server uh, where we are going to be testing it. Very simple, type in Java JDK to Google, click the first link, and then you can get it uh, using, you know, distribution of your operating system, wh whichever you use. For me, it's Windows. I just hit get the installer, install it normally, nothing much. And step number two is to get something called IntelliJ IDEA. Again, many of you guys already are familiar with it. It looks like this. It contains the code. It helps you produce the plugin itself by writing it. And if you are a student of Mine Academy or you want to check it out, which I highly suggest, we have an amazing program on how to create these plugins. Uh, you will also get a premium license for the program uh, for IntelliJ, which will contain some very advanced features. So to download this, again, just go to Google, click the first link, download the IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, for this video, you can just get the free version just fine. It's going to do just fine. Okay. And then step number three, I do recommend you have a micro server on your computer. And for this, we will be using paper. So you can just go to this site, uh, click the download button. I don't have to waste my time showing you how to do it. And then just Google how to set up a local micro server. If you do, you will end up with folders and files looking like this one where plugins is the most important one because we will be placing our plugin within this folder right here. So again, I just want to skip all of that basics because this is covered so many times and this video is new. This video has topics that weren't covered before. ChatGPT is pretty new. So let's just skip right into it. And then I want you to go and open up chat GPT account, which is really cool because it's completely for free. You can go to openai.com, open the account and rock and roll. Now that you have all these steps, didn't take you five minutes, but it, once you have them, the entire plugin will take you five minutes. That's what I meant by this video, you know, say clickbait. Uh, now what you need to do is open up the IntelliJ, which you have installed, go to file, new, new project. Now actually go to, go to settings and go to plugins first. Sorry about that. Go to marketplace and then make sure to find and install two extensions. One is GitHub Copilot, which basically brings ChatGPT right into IntelliJ. So you don't have to copy paste from a web website uh, like, a, you know, like a crazy person would do. And this one is not for free. It's $10, $10 per month, which I think is a very worthy investment. And you can get a free trial of it for 30 days, which is really cool as well. The other extension, micro development, will simply pre-create all of the structure all of the plugin files for you. Very handy as well. Get them, restart the IntelliJ, thank me later. So once you have them, now you can go to file, new and project. By the way, guys, if you don't see this window, it's because you don't have any project. Basically, you're, you will be looking at, um, you'll be looking at something like, where is that? Something like this. In this case, just hit new project. Should be self-explanatory. Now, how do you actually create a micro plugin? You know, that's the question of all ages. So I will go, I will ask ChatGPT, how 
do you create a sample paper or spigot uh, Minecraft plugin? Give me a demo of a plugin giving me three diamonds when I type diamond. Okay, and we are going to be getting the answer. So boom magic happened chat has finished replying by the way sometimes it does get cut off if you type too long of a message uh, too long of an answer um and it will try to generate too much code in this case just type continue hit enter it's gonna keep generating the code until it will end sometimes the formatting is broken when you type continue in this case, you just have to bear with it and copy paste the code. It's going to work regardless of the formatting. So it gave us a bunch of instructions. Uh, number one, number two, development environment. We just got this program, so that should be clear. Number three is when we actually need to go and we need to cr start creating this. So here inside, I'm just going to type a diamond plugin. Location can be anything. Platform type is going to be plugin then bucket, then paper, version can be the latest one, main class, this can be anything, so diamond plugin, but before you need to type in something called the package, package basically means the folder structure, in Java there's a bunch of different conventions, uh, in, you know, in very, very brief terms, if this is the first time you are seeing this video, I would just go with me, that my name, that the name of the plugin, that the plugins uh, sort of main class from which the plugin will start to load. Very simple. If you do have an, an email account, you can also type in com.gmail. Your handle at gmail. Dot the plugin name. So uh, this is just the terminating thing for uh, say organizational purposes. Every plugin should have a different package, and every um, yeah, and these classes shouldn't be named main okay some people teach just give it a name main which is very confusing i personally don't like it i personally would always go with the name of the plugin and then the plugin itself okay the rest you can just keep as it is make sure you hit maven because maven is uh, simpler than gradle i mean it's not simpler but i can teach it i, I don't know gradle yet haven't learned it and maven is very extend extendable i mean gradle is of course too and a lot of people will argue but it doesn't matter if you are a beginner, just hit Maven. It's going to be very simple. Hit create, and that's it. And all the magic is happening in the background. So we now have the basic structure of a plugin. There is a plugin.yml file, which basically gives the instruction to microserver to load the plugin. It will give the name of the plugin, the version, which is then found in the POM file, which is the one from uh, Maven. Maven is, like, is a thing that helps to compile, to convert all the source code into one single jar file, right? It's a bit complicated here, but the basic gist is you have the version right here. If you need to update it later and all the other stuff you don't have to worry about for now is completely fine. And then here uh, is the version of the server, which you can update later on as the video gets outdated. Then the main is where we find the main class. So this is the package, me, my name, diamond, diamond, uh, is the main class. I did I did put a plug in there, but it seems to get cut out, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then API version is the version that we're building against. All right, diamond is the name, and then we can go and we can just keep, copy this code right here. Now, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky, guys. So, um, this will not work. Okay, I know it. You guys don't know it if you're if this is the first time because we haven't really registered the command. Okay, this is where people get it wrong. The AI can literally save you hours and days and weeks, but you still have to understand it. This is why I suggest you go click the link in the description. Go to mineacademy.org/project orient to actually learn this stuff actually learn it properly because then you are going to apply this ai thing this magic to create plugins really really quickly so what i have to go right here and i have to type it uh the command does not work did you register it okay i have to give the ai a little bit of an instruction how to fix the plugin and now it gives me this cue this co code which i need to put in on enable and then we also know this is not everything how about registering in a plugin.yaml we also have to uh, register the command inside the the other file right here so i can copy this code and i can go to plugin and just copy paste it here so again ai the answer is yes 
absolutely can produce a fully functional code. I'm going to give you a couple of other examples later on as well, but you have to work with it. It doesn't just give you it on a silver, silver plate expecting you to just go roll on and works. Now, it, oftentimes you'll find it's pretty lacking and you need to keep chatting with the AI, give it specific instructions. So my honest take is you still need to learn Java, you still need to learn micro plugins, but we are in a time and age where if you have basics of Java, right, and you have basis, basics of micro plugins, right, if you know these at least fundamentals, which, you know, my Mine Academy project can teach you, um, you can use AI to lit literally produce plugins like this under five minutes. I would even go to say within two, three minutes. This is this plugin is literally very simple. Now, if you have this code ready, there is a magic run button, which has been generated by the uh, plugin development app inside IntelliJ. And if you hit it within 1.9 seconds, also we have built success. Now we can go into our, where is that? Uh, diamond right here diamond folder with the plugin it created a new folder called target and inside we have it the jar which is the finished plugin so i can just now go copy this jar delete the old plugins that i had there from previous testing there we go and then just start the server normally Okay, okay, guys. Now, if i type in diamond i'll be given three diamonds very very simple here are your three diamonds Okay, this is the basic just, I did use ChatGPT to generate a bunch of more advanced plugins. What I typically do is I start off by creating an outline for it. So it's supposed to have a command, supposed to have a listener, which is something that um, Bucket has. This is a concept in Bucket. Basically, if there is an event, player joined, player left, player clicked this, uh, an entity died, um, it fires an event, say player join event. And then you as the author of the plugin has the listener, listener which listens to that event and can modify things, right? So create a listener when the projectile is launched from the arrow. If the shooter is holding this bow, then we need to cancel the event and shoot a flying kitten in the arrow's direction instead. So you can already see, like, I know what I want, but I still save tons of time by just spitting it into ChatGPT. And then a custom code, such as backend renable, I even give it a hint just to make sure that it doesn't screw up on the first time. Uh, this is something that um, is responsible for running something over and over again, such as timer or broadcasting task, but it can, can also be used to, to run any code over and over again, according to your choice, checking if the kitten hits the ground, then make an explosion and then delete the kitten. Okay, provide all things together. So now it did provide the plugin file with the command in here. And it did also provide a pretty extensive uh, first attempt class, which actually worked out of the box without any modifications, which is really cool. And this is the actual thing that I shown you at the beginning of this video. I also did try to have to play with math, mathematical expressions right here. And I said, create a plugin and that'll render a repeating particle effects. Unfortunately, that didn't go as well because I had to go back and forth and the sort of the, the wings or the, the heart animation was a bit cut off but i'm pretty sure that i would get it right within uh, a couple of more attempts because i got it right in the past for different mathematical shapes so charge is pretty powerful you just have to know how to use it the moral of the story is yes can you make plugins within five minutes absolutely can you make plugins within five minutes if you've never coded anything before I would say yes, but, 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 but chances are you're going to run into issues. You're going to run into things like a ma major roadblock, which you can't solve um, because you don't have the fundamentals. So yes, you can, but you have to understand what the code does when you see it on the screen of ChatGPT. So again, guys, I invite you to check Project Orient to show you what the code does to help you understand all of these little parts. And once you have that right, once you have that knowledge, you can use ChatGPT and you can create massive plugins, entire server setups very, very quickly. Um, and you can just ad adjust it on the fly. So I hope this video was helpful. I know that, you know, I, I hope that you learned a bunch of things here. And yeah, that's it. Hit, hit a like button if you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.